In this question, we're given the graph of a line and asked to determine M, which is the slope of the line, and B, which is the vertical or y-intercept. Because we'll be determining both the slope and the vertical intercept, we'll also write the equation of the line in the slope-intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b. Let's first determine the vertical or y-intercept of the line, which is the point where it crosses the vertical or y-axis, which is this point here. Notice how this point has coordinates 0, comma, negative 5. So because the vertical or y-intercept is the point 0, comma, negative 5, we now know that b equals negative 5. And now let's determine the slope. There are several common equations we use for slope, but because we have the graph of the line, we can say the slope is equal to the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. So to find the slope graphically, we'll use this point and one other point, then determine the vertical and horizontal change. So for the second point, let's use this point here. Notice this point has coordinates 3, comma, negative 1. And now if we were to move from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we would have to go up 1, 2, 3, 4 units, and therefore the vertical change is positive 4. If we were to move down, the vertical change would be negative. And then from here we have to move right 3 units, and therefore the horizontal change is positive 3. If we were to move left, the horizontal change would be negative. And now we know the slope m, again, is equal to the vertical change divided by the horizontal change, which in this case would be 4 divided by 3, or 4 thirds. And because this fraction does not simplify, this is our slope. So now we know m equals 4 thirds. But before we write our equation, let's also show how to find the slope in a different way using this formula here. We can also say the slope equals the change in output divided by the change in input. And if the y variable is the output variable and the x variable is the input variable, we can say the slope equals the change of y divided by the change of x. Where the change of y would be the difference of the y coordinates of two points on the line and the change of x would be the difference in the x coordinates of two points on the line. So using this formula here to keep things organized, Let's call this ordered pair x sub 1 comma y sub 1, and this ordered pair x sub 2 comma y sub 2. Let's just verify we also get 4 thirds using this formula. So we'd have m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 would be negative 1 minus negative 5 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1 would be 3 minus 0. Well, negative 1 minus negative 5 is equal to negative 1 plus 5, which is 4, and 3 minus 0 is 3. So, of course, we get the same result. So now to find the equation, which this question doesn't actually ask for, we would substitute negative 5 for b and 4 thirds for m. So the equation of the line in slope-intercept form is y equals 4 thirds x. And instead of writing plus negative 5, it's more common to write just minus 5. I hope you found this helpful.